Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Good to be with you today. Of course, as you know, Wednesday night at 7 o'clock tonight, we will be uh, having services. So if you can come and be with us, uh, I think that would be a blessing. And of course, we gather around God's Word. We gather in prayer and um, we gather in fellowship. So come and be with us if you can. Join with us online as well. Uh, it's not the best thing, but you know, at least you get to hear what's going on. So uh, join with us if you can, okay? All right. Well, let's get started with our devotion today. Uh, we are in 2 Corinthians in chapter number 4. And uh, yesterday we talked a little bit about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And boy, if our gospel is hit, it is hit to them that are lost. People, the, people in this world need to know the truth. And they need to have the gospel and uh, so that they might have a chance to be saved. And so that's vitally important. You know, Paul here in this particular chapter is talking about him him serving the Lord and, and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and you know what? It isn't always easy. You know, living for the Lord isn't always easy. But the Bible says, if you'll notice with me, chapter 4, notice if you would in verse number 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You know, he talks about afflictions and he calls it light afflictions. And he says, but for a moment, you know, and really and truly, even though we live here on this earth and we, we serve the Lord, uh, unfortunately, it's not always going to be easy. It, there's always going to be an enemy. There's always going to be struggles. And um, obviously the apostle Paul had his own struggles. He talked about being, he says, trouble on every side. He talks about being perplexed. He talks about persecuted. He talks about even being cast down. But in all those things, he says, even though I was, I was, though, you know, all those things, yet God didn't forsake us. God was always there and we were encouraged because of the Lord. And you know, today, believe it or not, even though, and we don't really suffer that much here in, in, in the, in the, in our, in our world and in America. Uh, now, there are some that do, but you know, personally, without a doubt, you will be challenged. And and I want to encourage you, maybe even today, you are struggling and, and you are maybe even wondering if it's worth it. You know, giving your life to Christ is a wonderful thing, and that's the first and foremost thing, but also to live for the Lord. In other words, you know, let God take your life and use it and be a blessing because, you know, we do it for the sake of others, don't, don't we? You may be a mother, you may be a dad, you may be a, uh, you know, a grandparent or whatever it may be, but we do what we do. We live for the Lord because we love him. We believe that he's right, but you know, we also do it for the sake of others. We want our children, we want our grandchildren to grow up and, and to know the Lord. And so we do what we do you know, for their sakes as well. And we suffer and we go through all of that. Some people may even wonder, you know, why? Why do all that? Why go to church all the time? And, and why pray all the time? You know, it doesn't seem like God always answers your prayer. Or, or things in this world just doesn't seem to, to be going very well. But you know, our faith and trust is in the Lord. And even though it may not always seem that way, God's still on the throne. And God still has things in control. He really does. And so our hope and our trust is in the, in the Lord. And so day by day, even though we are afflicted, it's a light affliction in comparison to eternity. For the Bible says it like this, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding internal weight of glory. You see, as we live for the Lord in this world, you know, God is working in our lives. God is, even when it doesn't seem that way. And we know that one of these days, it will be worth it all. Of course, we have our, we have our eye on heaven. We know that one of these days to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. We also know that, you know, we are, we are storing up treasures in heaven. In other words, the things that we do here and the values of things that we do, uh, it, you know, it may not necessarily be seen. It may not necessarily be something that the world likes, but we know it's a value 
And one of these days, it will come to fruition. One of these days, it will. And so until then, we keep on fighting. We keep on doing what God would have us to do because we know it will be worth it all. One of these days, we'll get to see him, the Lord Jesus Christ, face to face. Until then, we're faithful. Until then, we keep fighting. So I encourage you, let's keep fighting. You may be going through afflictions, but in light of eternity, in light of what God's doing, it's light compared to what is in store for us. So I want to challenge you. Keep it up. Keep on going. Don't you quit. The Lord will truly uh, take care of us. The Lord will truly keep his word. So let's live for the Lord today. And let's, no matter what you're going through, it may be difficult, it may be hard, but it will be worth it. Praise the Lord. I love the song. It will be worth it all. And it will be. It sure will be. So I encourage you to keep on. May the Lord bless you today. Well, hopefully we'll see you tonight. Let's pray. Father, thank you for what we do go through because we know that it is worth it. Even though it, the world may laugh, laugh at us, the, the world may even think, why in the world do we, do we uh, you know, discipline our lives to, to conform and to do what you would have us to do? But Lord, it's worth it. And Lord, even though we suffer, yet it's just light afflictions compared to eternity and, and, and the glory that, that shall, we shall uh, uh, see. But until then, Lord, bless us, keep us faithful, and Lord, may your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you today. We'll see you tonight. Bye.